my KCT 2026 aspirants, a warm welcome to the channel. And now, see, we are just six months left for the KCT examination, six to seven months roughly, I can see. Now, at this point of time, it is very, very important to have a crystal clear understanding of syllabus. Now, why this is important? This will help you to understand, to manage your time accordingly. Which chapters are very, very important? Which chapters are less important? Where you have to give your maximum time? Where you can skip the chapters? Where you have to do more question practice? These all things, understanding or knowledge or awareness of these things will help you to make a smart plan for yourself, to make a smart strategy for yourself and you can prepare in the best possible possible way in the remaining time. So to help you with this, in this video, I have come up with a detailed uh, plan, sorry, with a detailed uh, strategy. So to help you with this, I have come up in this video with a detailed breakdown of chemistry syllabus for KCT 2026 examination. Okay. So first let us see what all chapters we have. So let me tell you in PU1, we have a total of nine chapters. Okay. So some basic concepts of chemistry, structure of atom, classification of elements, chemical bonding, thermodynamics, equilibrium, redox reaction, organic chemistry and hydrocarbons. Okay. These are the PU1 chapters. Now moving to PU2 chapters, here we have 10 chapters, solutions, electrochemistry, chemical kinetics, DNF block, coordination compounds, haloalkanes, alcohols, aldehydes, amines and biomolecules, right? So we know that total I have 19 chapters. But do we have to give all the attention to all these 19 chapters or where are, are uh, there are certain chapters where our focus should be more? So to analyze this, to understand this, we have taken an analysis of last five years where I have given you from each chapter how many questions have come and at the end something very, very important is hidden for you. So please wait till the end of the video. Okay. So now if I see, uh, come to PU1. Okay. So if you see from the last, in 2025, there is one question okay from some basic concepts of chemistry in structure of atom there were two questions in classification of elements there are one question chemical bonding there were three questions from chemical bonding and last year also previously also this is a high weightage topic next if you see thermodynamics every year we used to get one question but in 2025 we have got three questions next equilibrium Okay, every year we used to get two, two questions, but last year means in 2025, we got three questions from this particular chapter. Now, let us analyze the uh, next redox reaction. There was no question in 2025 as well in 2024. So, this is a less weightage chapter or you can skip it for the end. Okay. Next, if you see organic chemistry, we used to get one question. This year, we got two questions. Hydrocarbons also, we got two questions. Now, these question, uh, these yellow mark, uh, which you see, these are the chapters that are deleted. Okay. So, I have not, I have just highlighted them. You do not have to study these chapters. So, if I talk about PU1, which are my important chapters? Chemical bonding, right? Then you have thermo. Okay. Next, you have equilibrium. Then we have these two chapters, organic chemistry, two chapters are important, right? So these five chapters are super important and you should be finishing them first after completing the PU2 syllabus, okay? I'll be telling you that also. Now moving to chapter wise uh, weightage for PU2, so solutions chapter in 2024, five questions were there, 2025 also five questions were there. Electrochemistry 2024, two questions, three questions in 2025, chemical kinetics, three questions, but five questions in 2025. Next DNF block, five questions, coordination compounds, four questions. Moving towards here, uh, hello alkanes and hello arenes, we have four questions, alcohols and phenols, we have four questions, aldehyde, we have four questions. Amines we, is of less importance. We have three questions. Biomolecules also three questions. Now, if I add these all things, right? So, here we have 2 plus 1, 3, 4, 3, 7, 3, 10, 13. Okay. Then we have 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, I can say from PU1, we got 17 questions. Okay. Next, if I see here 5 plus 5, 10, 3, 13, 18, 18 plus 4, 22, 22 plus 4, 28 plus 4, 32, 36, 36 plus, uh, uh, just a minute, I think I have done some wrong calculation, 5 plus 3, 8 plus 5, 13, 18, 18 plus 4, uh, yes, 22, 22 plus 8, I have got here, 30, 
30 yeah 30 plus again 10 40 so from pu2 i have got how much questions 40 questions right pu1 was 17 so total there is 57 questions so where are these three questions remaining so the remaining three questions were from practicals right and if you remember in 2025 kea has specially mentioned the syllabus for practical exams so the so practical uh, what you are doing from there three questions were asked and all of them were from salt analysis right so now what i can say you is 40 total mark is 60 40 questions are from pu2 17 questions are from pu1 okay so which one you should give more importance can you just tell me undoubtedly it is pu2 so now if you are in pu2 make sure that you are revising and completing this pu2 chapters fully and perfectly okay there you should be making notes you should be solving their pyqs everything should be done properly for pu2 chapters once you're done with the pu2 chapters then these five chapters that i've told you from pu1 chemical bonding thermodynamics equilibrium and you have two organic chapters they should be your first focus and after that you should be also focusing on the practicals question okay so now if i show you the final uh, weightage so this is according to 20 25 okay according to 2025 this was the weightage of all the chapters of pu2 why i'm mentioning this because you know in pu in your kct rank determination pu2 also plays a 50 percent role okay equally important so what all chapters solutions electrochemistry kinetics coordination compounds aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acids these are the high weightage topic 12 13 12 11 and 12 marks are being asked and if you now talk about dnf block haloalkanes and halo alcohols amines and biomolecules these are slightly less important okay and these are the number of questions that have been asked from uh, in kct 2025 okay so now what should what should be the order of finishing the topic so first you should focus on solutions electrochemistry uh, chemical kinetics aldehydes coordination dnf block alcohols haloalkanes biomolecules and amines so this should be the order of making the uh, chapters okay once you first first in your school how the order how the chapter is being completed you complete that once the chapter is done you have to revise in this order okay then you have to go to pu1 syllabus and in pu1 we have equilibrium uh, sorry yeah, chemical bonding thermodynamics equilibrium redox reaction you can skip organic chemistry and hydrocarbons these five chapters are of super important and you have to pay more attention to these chapters right so that's all students are uh, breakup of the chemistry syllabus okay you have to understand where you have to put your time where you have to put your energy and where you have to put your question practice okay so make sure that pu2 chapters are well uh, prepared most of the 40 questions will be asked from there okay so first prepare them do not worry about pu1 at this point of time so i'll be coming up with a detailed video about the chemistry strategy from september to your uh, till the exam i have seen so many comments so i'll be definitely doing that video so don't worry subject wise strategy videos will be coming up in the next week okay thank you for watching all the very best keep learning and keep smiling